Dr. Mustafa Keskin from Istanbul, Turkey. I am excited to share with you the findings of our upcoming article about the perilipin content of the transplanted fat grafts. Lipolysis in adipocytes is regulated by the phosphorylation status of the perilipin, a protein that codes lipid droplets. Perilipins appear to function as a physical barrier protecting stored triglycerides from hydrolysis by hormone-sensitive lipase. Depending on the energy status of the organism, perilipin restricts or enables access to lipase to stored triglycerides. In the current study, we investigated the effects of the tumescent technique on the expression of perilipin and the phosphoprilipin in the harvested atopocytes. In this in vitro study, lipoaspirides were collected before and after tumescence from 15 women who underwent abdominoplasty. Fat samples were fixed, sectioned and stained, histologic and immunohistochemical analysis were performed. Relative phosphorylation of perilipin was inferred from pixel intensities of immunostained atopocytes observed with confocal microscopy. For atopocytes collected before tumescent infiltration, 10% of total perilipin was phosphorylated. In contrast, 30% of total perilipin was phosphorylated for adipocytes collected from tumescent tissue. Our biggest finding was that the tumescent technique increases the relative phosphorylation of perilipin in adipocytes, making these cells more vulnerable to lipolysis. Despite improvements in the autologic fat transfer, variable resorption of transplanted fat remains a major problem. Although the phosphorylation status of the perilipin is only one component in a multimolecular process, our findings suggest that adipocytes may be more prone to lipolysis after they are exposed to epinephrine and lidocaine. Tumescent solution should contain the lowest possible concentration of lidocaine and epinephrine. We hope you enjoy reading our article in the February 2017 issue of Aesthetic Surgery Journal. Thank you. Thank you.